In a rapidly expanding omniverse of sci-fi content, two Terrans try to make sense of it all. From the latest to the greatest to the most thought-provoking science fiction content on the screen, we bring you Crowded Space Podcast. Okay, here we go. I'm your host, Eric. And I'm your other host, Jared. And we're at episode 18, Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 2, because we're crazy and we love it. <laughs> yeah. And I think so much of what we talked about last last time really came to fruition. Yeah, we're saying, if oh, gonna... I hope he's not going to drag it on and all this <laughs> stuff. And all of a sudden, boom, boom. episode yep. two. Yeah. Like, oh, my gosh. Took one episode, dropped the idea of resurrecting <laughs> IG-11. Yeah, like they had the little, they had the little, whatever. The Jawas little still aliens. have your part. Don't, yeah. you ain't going to get it. <laughs> It was, a fun, it was a fun bit, but uh, we let uh, IG-11 go because we didn't want to do with right. it. I figured when it freaked out and started trying to kill him that that would be the end of it, given his history with, with the droids. But Yeah, especially, yeah, like you said, is uh, he doesn't have the best history with those droids. So. And uh, so they go to Tatooine, of course, and they have the pod race. It's the Bunta Classic, which is actually the young Anakin's race that they raced in prequels mm. so they kind of have a little homage there to the whole you know to the whole thing of with anakin and the pod racing i thought it was kind of cool with the little pods running around the the city and all that stuff and yeah it's fun she's the the mechanics always uh, love the mechanic. a, yeah <laughs> a great a great a great addition yeah. ripping off the 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 dude with the <laughs> <laughs> refurbished Jawa, spray painted Jawa parts. Yeah. Or, and then for me, I like that it shows Mando's not perfect, that he was still kind of conned into taking the, the R5 D4 unit, even though maybe it wasn't the best, best droid for, for the job. I think, so. it, I think it was really good. Cause like I said, that brought it back to Luke when he said, uh, let's pick this one. And then he kind of like broke and it's got a bad and, motivator. Yeah. How about that one? <laughs> Nartu's like bidu, bidu, bidu. <laughs> right um, and but, again uh, instant uh, charisma with, with the droid where it having kind of a shot nervous system for lack of a better term and reluctant to go and then later on him telling it come on come on, don't be a baby you know what the best part it was one of those little ball droids like in friggin prequels that was the best part about that it went they went back to using that the uh, you know the the astromech droids and not oh with a BB-8 yeah that's what it was called sort of yeah. dude you don't yeah. you don't like your saying yeah. yeah I'm glad they didn't use that oh, okay yeah I'm fine with BB-8 but nothing like the classic and really cool that they brought back the the, the old one so yeah but anyway right, getting back to some of our other predictions nothing about the the pirates in this one it was all no. focused on 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 Mandalore and so boom like that he's He's I love back. when he flies in. He's it's on his home for planet for the first time ever, right? Yeah. yeah. For him, wasn't for it? Him. He yeah. grew up on the moon, though, so it's weird that he didn't even... No, because they were told that it was just uh, yeah. unlivable. Yep. Yeah. And... Maybe it wasn't for for a while, but at any rate... Yeah, maybe it they... just like felt, you know, how it just goes mm. away after a while, so maybe that's what happened. But all I know is it was just, it was amazing. I, I love the whole scene of him flying in. Landing. Well, yeah, and you you starting to say uh, that, oh, you know, Grogu is starting to come in his own. I didn't really see it. And it was something that it bothered me that I didn't bring up was his character development or his ability seems to be, you know, come and go. Sometimes he kind of acts like he's a really a master, silly baby. Yeah. And then other times, you know, he's exactly what he's doing and he's and he's on the ball. And I want to see more of him, you know, knowing what he's doing and being on the ball. So. I really like that in, in this episode went from him buckling it up. Yeah. Uh, his seat up to, Oh, I'm um, using the, the droid to, I to love that. He help. points to the, he points to the map. And yeah. Tells where it goes. Yeah. That was awesome. That was really cool. Yep, I think it's more of a play than anything. I think that there's more to Grogu than meets the eye. I think some of his behaviors just due to the trauma he's been through. Yeah, and absolutely. He, cause he is 55 years old. So, slow develop or not wisdom should come with that as, yeah. as well. Especially that race. We were talking about the, the dark saber and Din Djarin's inability to use it. And it was clumsy and you, well, yeah. And again, 
brushing up on that because you you've seen the rebels and, and a lot of the backstory mm -hmm. where Sabine originally had the dark saber yep. and gave it over to Bo Katan mm -hmm. and and essentially because Bo Katan tried to rule with the dark saber when she didn't win it in combat yep. essentially bad juju and why a lot of people think Mandalore fell uh, to begin with was because of her mishandling of it. And so we were talking about like, oh, why doesn't she attack him and, 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 and you know, take it and, and, and all of that. Well, that's part why. of it is, or why didn't she just scoop it up in the, in the last yeah, episode? Yeah, because he was like right there. Because again, you know, she's, she learned her lesson the yeah. hard way. So she's, she's yeah, going to learn yeah. it through, through, through combat. And again, it wasn't worth it to her. She was defeated. Yeah. You know, so she wasn't worth the fight. And then on top of that, he is an ally to her and attacking an ally would, would be a kind of yeah, against very, her code of very honor. Loyal. Yeah. yeah. She yeah, has a yeah. strong code for sure. Yeah. Right. She might not be a, a zealot like him and, and follow the, the super old ways, but mm -hmm. she still is an honorable person and, and, and follows that bounty hunter code and Min Mandalorian code. So, but then getting back to the dart saber, right. It works just fine. We saw her put it on full display when she was attacking the I have, the, the cyborg, right? I do have a theory on that one. It's because she's confident with, with her abilities and who she is with yeah. wielding it. And that's why it, it doesn't seem as heavy and it's not as clunky to her. That's why she was able to, man, that, that whole scene Yeah, exactly. Awesome. The, the dark <laughs> saber is, I guess, ex exceptional in that it essentially controls itself. And mm -hmm. you've got to let it do its thing yeah um and then on top of that it does require someone to be kind of not at conflict with, at, with themselves like Jin is yeah yeah that's what it is yeah you, you hit it right on the nose that's that's what it comes down to that's why she was able to just friggin wield it like it <laughs> and and she's had time with it before too it's not her Man, first that whole scene was first amazing. tussle with with the dark saber yeah so Friggin yeah hell. i thought the timing of it was uh perfect i didn't know if you realized it was international women's day but then to have such a oh, that wednesday when it when it aired so that's to have awesome her yeah save his butt not once yep. but but twice i'm not a big fan of two funerals but two ass savings i'm completely back fine back. with <laughs> yeah and in, in, in one episode. And you uh, know, was, and it's not, and it's not like, it's not overly dramatized. Like she doesn't like rub it in his face. It's just like, I did my thing. I saved mm. you because we're, like you said, we're allies. We work well together and I kick ass. I don't have to right. prove it to anybody. And that's what I love about that. About mm. Bo-Katan. She's really a good character. She's strong, a very independent and definitely perfect. Like you said, for the, for the woman's uh, Wednesday um, yeah, International Women's yeah. Day. It was it was definitely a, a on, well did they plan that well too planned yeah, to have a <laughs> well really because she you know, she she stole the spotlight for she did. For, for the episode and I'm completely fine with it. Um, I was she, like, it's over. No, don't tell me it's over. Like I was like, oh no, I can't believe it's over. I watched it twice. I was like, oh, I had that same feeling after that. <laughs> Even the second time. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> It was so good. The whole scene with first with him going in the caves with Grogu and, you know, making their way down and the like the transitions with like the old school, like fade out. It was just like almost like the fade out in Dagobah with Luke when he was training. It had almost the same fade out type of thing hmm. where they're walking down in the mine and they have the fade out so that you do not like well, spend it how, 15 how, minutes. And, how know. about the cyborg? Dude. I thought it was a little weird yeah, how like it captured him. Like, why is it just hanging out in the dirt for who knows how long? Maybe it saw him coming and get who knows. Well, it probably but, it probably goes with uh, the other things, those other creatures. It goes after them. Yeah, mm. the ones that are like the the savages from they used to be outside of the the area. Right. Yeah. So it probably uh, that's there's what a it does. really cool kind of baddie of 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 the day. Some sort of weird crustacean thing. I, I like a cockroach. Heard, yeah, <laughs> heard some some fan theories that it's the was it the Diagong, the same creature that was in the Death Star trash compactor. Oh, with the eye. Really? The, oh, yeah. yeah. But dude, that's pretty good. Well done. Be, well done. That's not mine. That's just no. I mean, I, you scooped it out yeah. for our podcast. That's really good. Yep. So something to think about. That's we'll, definitely we'll something see. to think about. But I think that character is just done. And I, not that we saw the headshot, right? 
Did we see her kill it for sure? For sure. She cut. She cut the thing's head off. Okay. Just saying, could still be alive. So no, but there's so many other plots to to, Man, to go on. Whole... So, we're, are we ready to talk about the the biggest big reveal? <laughs> spoilers. The, the, if you haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, I think that's, total spoilers. Yeah, though has to be. Oh my gosh, dude! I was like. I couldn't believe it. I was like, is that an eye? When she was coming up. Mm. You, well, you and I was like, well, maybe first. it's just a skeleton, right? Maybe it's just like, it's just in there, right? <laughs> yeah. And then and it moved. The and roll. I was like, what? My mind was blown, dude. That's what I texted yeah. you. I was like, bubbles come out of her helmet. Friggin' blown. <laughs> bubbles come yeah. out of her helmet. And she's like, oh, Mesosaur. <laughs> Yeah, the symbol um, of Mandalore. And it was such a great, alive. it was such a great setup because it, it really seemed like his devotion to the old way and his kind of vision of how Mandalore should be was kind of slowly getting at her, right? And be especially on top yeah. of being back home and seeing the destruction, but also being like, Hey, you know, there is life here. There, you know, mm. I can breathe the air. It's it's not completely over. And then mm. to see the mythosaur on, on top of that. Uh, for essentially the Amazing. next stage of the of the prophecy. So now this is a big question: Do you see a fight coming between them, or will her honor uh, hold fast? I see, I see Din riding that myth that what mythosaur mythosaur <laughs> using Grogu force ability. Hmm. Yeah. Because I, because you know how he tamed in. Mando 2.5, a.k.a. Boba Fett. <laughs> Mando 2.5. <laughs> nice. Uh, he tamed uh, Rancor, remember? He put it to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's on the table. It's possible. So I see those two, and then I see him getting his little armor or something like that. I see Grogu having his little Mando armor, and those two, like... But who are they fighting? Like, that's the thing on the planet. Right, the planet is, dec- is decimated. There's, mm. are they gonna fight Death Watch? Are they gonna fight the Children of the Watch? Are like, oh, oof, are they gonna join? Like, who, right now, who is the Mandalorian's threat on the planet? We don't know yet. There's no. It's only like the environment right now, which isn't really true. It's only like the destruction of the planet that's the problem. Right. But, like, I guess he could ride the thing and get them all. To unite under, you know, his banner, under the Mandalorian banner again, but it just it just sets up to something so massive. Like mm. if they play their cards right, this is like Infinity War style here. We're talking about it could be something as big as Infinity War, where it's just this massive scale of different types of shows that come together, and then it's like, you know, a whole new battle which. Yeah, because Disney seems to be putting the brakes on a lot of other projects. Oh, they're dumping so them. Seem, they're firing people. Yeah, it does seem like they're, they're, rid of they're trying to figure out... The cut, they're their trimming next, the fat. The, yeah, they're trying to figure out their, their next steps. No, they've lost so much money with this. They've... they've well, not with the Mando. Not Mando. <laughs> not Mando. Man, Mandalorian is what brought Star Wars back to, you know, to its heyday. Slowly. It's, it's, it's a mm. slow process. It's going to take a time. It, people will have to trust again. Because you know, with Kennedy at the range, she she just massacred with the pre with the sequels, uh, the idea of what Star Wars was, you know, just massacred it, took it apart, put it together, massacred it again. I think we're we're all in agreement. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna we're rant, I'm not gonna rant anymore about that. We're talking we're about all in agreement <laughs> that that's how you feel about it. <laughs> we can all agree that's how you feel about it. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> Whatever you feel, that's your thing, but that's how I feel about it. <laughs> At the end, she brings him up, and that's where it, that's, that's the episode's yeah. finish. I can't yep. wait to see the next one. Just enough of a cliffhanger. It's not a huge cliffhanger. It's not like he fell off the side, and then you know they left it at that. She, it's clear she rescued him. Yeah, um, and that's the thing I was wondering. Now, Did it pull him in? Why or did he just the- fall because he got a blood drain out and his fluids drain out of him? So, yeah, that's what I figured. He was already in a weakened state, so yeah. he wasn't really prepared, and he already took off his jetpack and some of his stuff. So, Well, of course, he would sink like a rock. With- the way that he fell in, it looked like he just fell in, yeah. right? It didn't look like he was pulled, and his arms didn't, like, whip up 
super quick yeah. or, or like, anything like Jaws. That. <laughs> um, you know, I don't even think the Mythosaur would pull him in, but I don't, it didn't do I'm anything. An expert, it left yeah, him. I'm not it an left expert him alone. On, so yeah, Mythosaur ism. I can't mythosaur. wait to see what it looks uh, like. But it also didn't make sense. Like the route she went down to get him was weird. Like she had to go over a cliff and it's like, Oh no, if he just fell in, he would have been on that first little cliff. But again, I'm probably just overthinking it. And it's maybe there is like a but current that took him. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You know? So I'm trying to dig up my memory here that in the star Wars Christmas special, all right. Well, any kind of parting thoughts or comments? I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah. Again, <laughs> we're like, where do we go from here? And this one, just, Cause this was a- presumably he's going to go back and tell the people, Hey, I went in there and like, you know, is she going to go because we haven't seen Bo Katan and armor together. Is she going to, does Bo Katan even care about the armor? Is she going to address them? Yeah. It's, who knows? But, but Din Djarin is definitely in her debt. That's what I love about this show. You, you really can't. You really can't, can't tell predict what's it. Up. Yeah. I mean, we did a few predictions, but yeah, he just those two, Favreau and Filoni, just yeah, they know how to make it happen. I guess with with all of that, suffice it to say, we are looking forward to the next episode of of The Mandalorian. Well, I think we're gonna have to show some restraint, and we probably. Won't do another one, but hey, if uh, if they keep delivering these uh, top quality, entertaining, thought provoking yeah. shows, then we're 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 gonna leap on just, that. It's just um, you know, we just want to have our think about what we you know how what we talk about, and maybe they'll maybe they'll make their yeah creativ- you might- creativity like be oh or thought process be like oh man yeah they were kind of right at this exactly part. you you've caught some episodes some things that i didn't that was going on and and, and vice versa yeah, so it's yeah. nice to talk about this stuff and be yeah. like oh yeah that does change how i it's how, how you I view it, it. yeah general. you, you appreciate me, it more yeah you and again now, i've been really enjoying this whole idea of of faith and you know, it's like him slowly chipping away at Bo-Katan. Yeah, and you can see to she was again. And OK, see. seeing a mythosaur still alive in the, you know, mythical waters of Mandalore helps, too. But oh, man, I can't uh, wait. I can't wait for Wednesday. <laughs> I think he was getting I was getting to her before that. Yeah. So thanks for making hump day pretty damn awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Me. All right. Well, I'm your other host, Jared. And I'm your host, Eric. Reminding all of you that it's not the destination, it's the journey. See you later. If you like what you heard, spread the word. 